guys how annoying are silent letters in english words what are they even doing there this video is all about english words with silent letters in them when do you pronounce those letters or when don't you pronounce those letters i am going to teach you a few simple rules to help you pronounce english word correctly don't forget to turn on the subtitles in eh, that the part room is just down there so you can follow alan there are a lot of english words that have a silent letters in them and there are lots of silent letters in english about 60% of all english words have silent letters the under pronunciation is so frustrating right and they can be silent these letters but they are not always silent so you have to be careful you need to know a basic rules to help with the pronunciation of silent letters in english words okay let's start at the top with the letter a now the a can be silent especially in words that end in a, a l l y like this romantically musically logically so i am not pronouncing romantically musically and logically cut the a out get it off it romantically musically logically now this is the rules to remember with the letter p it stored it's all a silent when it follows the letter m climb come lamb thumb thumb and plama so practice them with me i am not pronouncing the b i am just pronouncing the m consonant sound climb come lamb thumb thumb plama and the letter b is often silent when it before the consonant t so think of this example subtle tat and tau so see in all of these examples my is are closing and coming together to form the b sound i am just pronouncing the t subtle tat and tau now the letter c can cause a few problems because it often silent after the letters s like in this <clears throat> this very common examples they are very quite tricky muscle muscle scissors fascinate scene scenario muscle Seizes, fascinate, scene, scenario. So that is the silent C. So what about the letter T? Yeah, it can be silent too. Oneste, handsome. Sandwich. So I am not pronouncing the D in sandwich. I am just pronouncing the consonant N sound before it. Tell it with me one more time. Oneste. Handsome. Sandwich. And a D can be very quiet, not quite silent, but very quiet in front of a D. Like in these examples. 
edge, knowledge, bridge, hedge. So in these examples, the T and the G combined together produce the Ju consonant sound Ju. Edge, knowledge, bridge, hedge. Okay, so the letter E can often be silent at the end of a word. I'm pretty sure you know this one already. Like these examples. <clears throat> Blue, pig, taste. Clue, peg, taste. But dead E on the end, although it might be silent, it can affect the pronunciation of the vowel sound before E. Let's look, <clears throat> look at these examples. Hop, hop, sit, side. Hit, high, slit, slide. So see how the E at the end, although it's not pronounced, it's affecting the vowel sound before it. It makes it longer. So hit, E, becomes high, I. But if the E is the final letter, in the word, but it's only vowel sound, then it needs to be pronounced like in these examples he, she, we. E can also be silent at the end of past tense regular verbs, which all end in ed, right? But they're not always pronounced like it is in wanted. So you can hear the ed sound there. It, it, one chat. It's it one syllable, but a lot of the time that e isn't pronounced. Looked, asked, paid, baked, wrapped. Now, they could be a little bit tricky. Let's do it again. Looked. As. Played. Back. Wrapped. Okay, so a G can be also be silent too. Think about the word sign, champagne, design, or foreign. All of these examples have a silent G and the combination G H can also be silent when it comes after a vowel sound. Do, high, light, daughter, bright, now the letter haze is often silent too, often when it following a tableau, like in these examples. What, when, why, and whistle. And sometimes it's not pronounced at the start of a word like honest and hour. And sometimes the haze is not pronounced when it follows any of these letters C, G, or R. Now, most of the time, C haze is pronounced C, 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 but on small occasions or rare occasions, it's not pronounced. The haze is silent. Choir. Echo, echo, with G, ghost, ghost, with an R, rhythm, 
or rhyme. Good news. The I is not usually silent. It's usually pronounced except in the word business. Okay. K. Now, I know you know this one. A K is not pronounced when it comes before an N. Like knife. No. Knee. Knock. Not. Knowledge. The letter L can be silent too and it's quite common when you look at this. But consider these rules to be a bit of cheek because the letter L is quite difficult to pronounce in all of these words, even for a native speaker. Could, York. So this makes it easier in these words where I is really difficult to pronounce, then it's silent. Ready? Let's try it. Could, could, should, should, talk, oak, yolk, half, calf. Salmon, not salmon, salmon. So we got though quite a bit, but when only halfway though. So if you want to keep watching and keep practice with silent letters in English, then click the link in this description box and go to part two of this video. Okay, bye. Okay, soon I'll wait for you new episodes. Okay, best of luck.